In this example, we want to use the disk method to find the volume of the solid form by revolving the boundary region about the x-axis. Okay, so our region is going to be defined by y equals 4 minus x squared, x squared equal to 0, y equal, and y equals 0. Okay, so that's the, that's the region we have here. So this is, uh, the, in this figure, the graph that you see in blue, that is 4 minus x squared, but remember we want when x is bigger or equal to 0, so that means it's going to be to the right of the y-axis. And we have y equals 0, which is the x-axis here, okay? All right, so our for, the formula to do this for the, for the disk method is given here. So we have volumes equal to pi times the integral, okay, from our lower bound to upper bound of the represented piece squared, okay? So our represented piece, I'm going to go ahead and draw that in. So that's going to be here somewhere. So that means, right, our function is going to be, our integral is going to be in terms of x, okay? And remember, because we're using this method, this piece has to be perpendicular to the axis of revolution, okay? All right. So when we revolve this region around the x-axis, okay, it's going to look something like this. So this, this graph is going up to... Uh, it has a y-intercept of 0, 4, so that means down here it's going to intercept somewhere at negative, or is it 0, negative 4. So let's say here, okay, and then it's going to do something like this. All right. So that's the result of taking this region and revolving around the x-axis, so it kind of looks like a, a bowl on its side. Okay. So we can go ahead and set up the integral. Okay, so we're going to have our volume is going to be equal to the pi times the integral from a to b. Okay, so our lower bound, our lower bound is zero, and the upper bound is going to be at this point here. Okay, which is the uh, the x-intercept of our function. Okay, and that's on the right side of the y-axis. So this is going to be at two. Okay, so our bounds are going to go from 0 to 2. Okay. Our representative piece, okay, r of x is just the function, okay, 4 minus x squared. Okay, so that basically, so that's the distance from the x-axis to the uh, to the point on the graph. Okay, and x is again here, x is going between 0 and 2. So so when x is 0, the radius Okay, for that part will be 4. When x is 2, the radius will be 0 there. Okay. Okay, so we have the integral, or pi times the integral from 0 to 2 of 4 minus x squared squared. Okay, so now we just go ahead and we're going to expand this. So 4 minus x squared to the power 2, that's going to give us x to the 4th minus 8x squared plus 16. Okay, so we're going to take the integral of this. Okay, so that's going to give us 1 fifth x to the fifth minus 8 thirds times x cubed plus 16x. And we go ahead and evaluate this from 0 to 2. Okay, so plugging in 2, okay, we're going to get 2 to the 5th. That's going to give us 32, so we have 32 over 5. 2 cubed, that's going to give us 8. And so we get minus 64 thirds here. And 16 times 2, okay, that will give us 32. And if we plug in 0, that's just going to give us 0. Okay, so adding these up, okay, this is going to give us 256 over 15 pi. So this is the volume for our region that's being rotated around the x-axis, okay? 
So if this was some application problem, uh, then this would be in terms of units cubed. Okay.